This is IFV, the web space with your dose of business and financial news. In full view, we're making your business our business. Welcome to In Full View. I'm Marcella Palmer, bringing you the week's medium and small business news. This week, we're meeting up with entrepreneur Greg Hartle of $10 and a Laptop. Greg is visiting New York City as part of his 50-state tour, where he's giving his internet followers a behind-the-scenes look into what it takes to rebuild his life through entrepreneurship. Greg has been relying on his wits, the kindness of strangers, social media, and free, valuable resources like the place we're meeting him today, the Wix Lounge in Chelsea, which offline offers this free workspace to the creative community, and online offers free, easy-to-use Flash website building tools. I actually grew up in the Phoenix, Arizona area and um, grew up in poverty, basically. And one of the biggest goals for me coming out of, uh, as I became an adult, was to get out of poverty and break the cycle in our family. I became a huge financial success in my early 20s, um, had everything that I ever wanted, you know, nice car, nice home, all the friends in the world, and a nice business that did very well. But then in my mid-20s, I was diagnosed with a life-threatening kidney illness, woke up one day not feeling well, went to the doctor, next thing I know they sent me to a kidney specialist, next thing I know they sent me by ambulance to the hospital and found out that I had severe kidney damage and it basically changed my life overnight. And what happened was is as a result of going through the kidney illness, everything around me fell apart. I could no longer work in my job, I could no longer do all the things that I love to do, and I became very depressed and, and, and basically was fighting to keep myself alive. And fortunately, um, I was able to get a kidney transplant from my mother, which of course allows me to be here today and completely changed my life uh, in many ways, in many facets from that point forward. And what I kept trying to do was get my old life back. One day I woke up and I realized I was never going to get my old life back. After my transplant, uh, my entire world changed, but for the better, instead of for the worst, which I was afraid of at the beginning, and uh, ended up you know, launching several businesses, um, finding several great business partners, being very successful from a business standpoint, but more importantly, I had deeper, more connected relationships. Yeah, so in January, I launched $10 and a Laptop, which is at $10andalaptop.com, and basically, in the last three years, I've had countless people come to me and, and ask me how I was able to rebuild my life. Many people have gone through a major economic transition in the last few years, which also disrupts every other area of their life. So I thought, you know what, I'll start over again, completely from scratch, and I'll rebuild again. And this time I'll show you from day one how I do it. And that way I can be your guinea pig. So I donated everything that I owned, um, got rid of my place in San Diego, my place in uh, Arizona, got rid of my vehicle, everything. And I literally started with a $10 bill in my laptop. So there's no going back. A lot of people ask me, so when you're done with this quote unquote project, are you gonna go back to your life? The reality is I don't have a life to go back to because I've put all that aside and I've literally created a, a space that I can just completely move forward and show you what it takes. And so when you look at my project through your eyes right now, you'll say things like, oh, you're a minimalist or you're a couch surfer. And you'll think that I'm going to do that forever through, through the rest of this project. But that's not really the case. I want to progress. I want to have more options. So I have to get resourceful now. My best option is to go to couch surfing, find a couch and sleep on a couch. Six months from now, I'm hoping that's not my best option anymore. You know, maybe at that point I can sleep in a hotel every once in a while. Maybe even at some point in this, I make enough money where I can buy a home even. Um, maybe right now the best way to travel is to get rides from people. At some point I want to have options. I want to get a ride from somebody if I want, or take a train, or a bus, or buy a plane ticket. And that's what I want people to get. This is a story of progress, of where I'm going, not where I'm at today. And how are people seeing that through $10 in a laptop? Well, they get, to, they get to see that through my blog at $10andalaptop.com, and I also, of course, keep them up to date on all the social networks and other areas as well. I was genuinely surprised at how many resources are available to us right now, especially free resources, both online and offline, to be able to take advantage of, to do the things you need to do to live and function. The ability to network online now is completely changed with social networks. That is, is it, it's created this environment in which people are now able to not only connect with me, but they're able to share with other people they know what I'm doing in an easy, manageable way that doesn't take a lot of their time, but rapidly accelerates what I'm doing. 
One of the things that people have suggested to me continuously is to get sponsors. You know, they, they say, hey, you're doing a road trip, get road trip sponsors and get other people to sponsor this journey. But sponsorships isn't what I'm really attempting to accomplish. However, I do feel like there's strategic relationships that I can develop and create sponsorship opportunities that don't necessarily create a gimmick or anything of that sort, but are legitimate ways in which I could advance myself and improve the quality of life that I have as I'm progressing forward. And I've done that with a company called Journey Gym out of Portland, Oregon. They have a traveling gym. I'm traveling, I want to stay in shape. So it was a good partnership for us to partner together. Um, and then secondly, while in New York, I was able to land a strategic partnership with Hashable which is an application on a smartphone that allows you to keep connected in, in network with people that you're connecting with, uh, a relationship manager of sorts. I'm meeting people every single day, and so a relationship manager is incredibly important to me. So this is a, a product that I was going to use anyway, but I asked them if they could enhance my experience with it and allow me to use it better since I was already using it, and in exchange, would they support me financially in any way? And so they've done that. So I don't know how long this will take. I have no specific timeline. I always tell people I'll do this for however long it takes. But essentially, if I can go to all 50 states, interview 501 entrepreneurs, and launch at least one very successful business, and aspire, inspire aspiring entrepreneurs to take action, then I've done what I've set out to do. And that's my main goal here. And I feel like too many people look towards the end of something, but the, the journey is the amazing part. And so what I hope is that I can inspire aspiring entrepreneurs to do one thing, and that's take action. That's all for this week from the IFB News Team. Thanks for joining us from the Wix Lounge in Chelsea. Be sure to check back every day right here at IFBNews.com for the latest on what's happening around the globe in the medium and small business world.